Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Coach Dave from StructureTrends.com and today we're going to talk about the differences and some of the similarities between F45, Orange Theory, CrossFit, some of these other uh, boutique-y um, kind of higher end hit or boot camp or strength and conditioning classes that have been popping up everywhere. So first thing first, um, I own a CrossFit gym. I have worked out at Orange Theory places. I'm friends with some Orange Theory coaches. Um, F45 is just starting to, starting to make its way around, but we actually have looked at the franchising to see what they're like. Um, so I don't have any hate for any of them. I don't think any of them are like garbage. I know some people are out there saying this is garbage, that is garbage, that is garbage. Everything has its place. And especially in the United States where we have more and more and more, more and more people obese, I have no problem that fitness places are getting more popular. It's a good thing that we're switching our culture to kind of being willing to put more money in preventative healthcare instead of, hey, I'm sick and now help me. So it's all good stuff, right? It's all good. People are working out. That's a lot better than everyone sitting on the couch watching people play sports and be in shape, okay? So first thing first. Now, the commonality is, hey, you're gonna work out at both. People are programming the workout for you and you probably have a trainer or a coach that's motivating you or is kind of a cheerleader, which is fine, right? That's all good. Personally, I'm not someone, I don't enjoy having a motivator or a cheerleader. I want someone to tell me what I'm doing wrong. Now, I think that's where CrossFit is, should be different than these other uh, fitness programs out there. Um, to me, CrossFit was always about learning new skills and progression, not just about coming in and having someone cheer and yell at you and move as fast as you can, even if you're moving really bad. Now, I know some gyms are like that. I'm just talking about my personal experience, what we try to do, what I like to see in gyms, what experiences I believe make CrossFit different. As well as CrossFit usually get into some more complex skills, that whole practice component. And I like that personally too, because we want people to continue learning, which is good for them mentally over time, right? So we want trainers here at the gym that are not just motivators, not just cheerleaders, but they're educators as well. So that's a big component of CrossFit that I think sometimes CrossFit gyms forget about that really separates them from the market. Now, again, I think Orange Theory instructors, they're doing their job, they're getting people moving, they're getting people in shape. But I think that the main component that CrossFit adds is, hey, we're going to do some stuff that you've never done. We're going to learn some skills. We're going to challenge you mentally. We're going to kind of help you overcome some of your fears. We're not just going to do the same cycle of movements, rah, rah, cheerlead, cheerlead, and keep going through it and through it and through it and through it. And hey, you sweat really hard. Your heart rate got up. So good job. Way to go. We want you to learn and progress. And we're trying to look more long-term fitness. All right. I don't care how much you squat today. I just want you to squat better. All right. Cool. You rode this fast. Let's try and get you row a little bit faster, a little bit faster. And that component of CrossFit, I think is something that sometimes gets lost in how we educate and inform people about what we do. And it's also easy to get lost when you're programming workouts in a gym because we want everyone to be smiling. And sometimes we forget that we want to add value at an education standpoint. So again, I love, there hasn't been like a really fitness thing that's come out outside of some really wacky things that have been like, wow, that's terrible. F45, Orange Theory, any of these other uh, kind of like, self-branded uh, one-off gyms that have been coming out. I think it's all great. I think it's great that people are getting out there working out. It personally helps me because the fitness market, the, it's rising, so it's getting better. It's not like anyone's stealing customers from me. We're not stealing customers from them. We can really help and work together and get people used to this kind of a little bit higher intensity, a little bit harder, a little bit more thoughtful type of exercise, all right? So that's my opinion. If you do F45 or Orange Theory, I'd love to hear from you. Comment below, let me know what you like, what you don't like. If you're someone where like CrossFit, I've never had experience of being coached, I'm sorry. I think that gym is doing you a disservice and we're kind of forgetting what CrossFit really is, all right? So again, if you have any questions, comment below, like and subscribe. Talk to you guys real soon.